So what is it like to live in the city of Decatur? Well, today I'm going to do a full vlog tour and talk about every aspect of the neighborhood. And that's coming up right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living in Atlanta. It's a beautiful day in Atlanta right now. It's early January, but it's in the high 50s. And I'm walking around Decatur Square. Today, I'm gonna take you on a full vlog tour of the city of Decatur. We're gonna talk about everything from schools to cost of living to taxes, crime, and I'm even gonna show you an example of a house on the market right now in the city of Decatur. My name is Mark Brenner. I'm a local realtor here in Atlanta and if you're looking to buy a home in the Atlanta area I would love to hear from you please feel free to book an appointment with me using the Calendly link in the description below I would love to hear from you so I wanted to do a full vlog tour of the city of Decatur because in terms of living inside the perimeter it's really hard to beat. downtown Decatur is one of the most highly walkable areas in the entire city and there are some of the best schools in the entire state in this neighborhood and as you'll see from this video, there are also an unlimited number of things to do in Decatur. But first, if you're not from here, I want to make sure you know where we're talking about. So like usual, let's pull up a map and take a look at where the city of Decatur is. Okay, so we have a map of Atlanta pulled up. You see the perimeter here. And we're going to be looking at the city of Decatur, which is right here. So let's zoom in. And you can see one of the nice things about this location is it's only about six miles east of Atlanta. So not only very easy to get downtown if you need to, but very close to all of the most popular hip neighborhoods in town. Edgewood, Kirkwood, going up to Midtown, the west side. You're still very close to the Beltline. And if you want to go up north to Buckhead or Lenox Mall, that won't be a difficult drive for you. So you're really close to everything in Decatur, including the airport, which is right over here. So that's not going to be more than a 25, maybe 30 minute drive for you, depending on how bad traffic is. One of the really nice things that we're going to talk about with the city of Decatur is it's one of the few spots that is well serviced by Marta's Heavy Transit. So if we look at Marta's Heavy Rail, this is the entirety of the heavy rail. So you see this is the perimeter that I just pointed out and you have you know the downtown area and um, this would be the stop indicator. So the heavy rail only makes a T. So if you don't live near one of these stations, you'd need to get there by bus, uh, car, bike, walk, whatever. Um, but we are going to take a look at the stop in downtown Decatur, in Decatur Square at Decatur Station. So you could uh, get on the heavy rail and switch off at five points and go right down to the airport. So uh, one of the huge benefits of living in Decatur is even though I talk all the time about how our public transportation is sorely lacking, this is definitely one of the areas where you can get by more readily using Marta, which is a huge bonus. Now, another big advantage of living in this side of town is you're really not at the epicenter of the traffic. Now, I'm not saying you won't deal with bad traffic living in this area, but just generally speaking, uh, some of your worst traffic in Atlanta is concentrated uh, on the downtown connector. You see 75 and 85 merging and the connector coming in here. Um, where 20 is, this is where a ton of the worst traffic is. And of course, uh, 400 headed up north, you've got a lot of people commuting back and forth, uh, north and south in this corridor. And that's typically where some of your worst, worst traffic in Atlanta is. So, you know, living on the east side is really not that bad. You can avoid it to some degree, or at least a little bit more than you'd be able to uh, if you lived, uh, say, in Midtown or Buckhead or an area like that. And the other thing I would point out, which, you know, is not a huge deal, but is an uh, interesting fact, I think, as someone who's lived here for quite a while, but um, you're really a nice middle ground in terms of uh, accessing the North Georgia mountains or just anything in the state in the north of the state of Georgia. Um, and, you know, 
the airport. So I've lived uh, north of 20 in Atlanta, where it was great to have a head start um, up north towards vineyards or anything nature related I want to do. Uh, I currently live on the south side where I'm further from those things, but I'm less than 10 minutes from Hartsfield Jackson. So, you know, there's no perfect place in Atlanta. Wherever you are is going to be a certain distance from things that you want to be close to. But, you know, kind of being near the equator, so to speak, in Atlanta is really nice because, you know, you aren't super far from the airport. Um, but you also don't have to make a ton of ground driving up north if you are headed um, to the northern part of the state for whatever reason. So just real quick, going back to the map, I have DeKalb County highlighted here just for reference. So you see most of Atlanta is Fulton, but a lot of the east side is DeKalb. And some of the terms we use are interchangeable and can get confusing. Um, the east side, Decatur, honestly, I know I'm guilty of it, just referring to large swaths of East Atlanta, um, sometimes as Decatur, sometimes as East Atlanta without being specific enough. So uh, you do have areas that may have a Decatur address around here that are actually in unincorporated DeKalb, uh, areas like Belvedere Park, Candler McAfee. So just be aware if you do look at a place uh, with a certain address, it may not be where you think it is. So it's important to look at the map and make sure you understand what school districts are connected with that area and just where it is exactly. So I'm in the heart of Decatur. I'm in Decatur Square right now. And one of the biggest benefits of living in this neighborhood is the extreme walkability and amazing array of things to do. In terms of a dense walkable area, you're really not gonna find a better location inside the perimeter or really outside the perimeter. There is just a huge conglomeration of fantastic restaurants, retail shops, and really anything you could ask for in the Decatur Square area. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know by now that Atlanta is actually not a very dense city. In fact, we're known for our sprawl. So what you have is a bunch of in-town neighborhoods that may have a small walkable area, but in many cases, you can't walk from one walkable area to another walkable area, which further reinforces your need for a car living here. But of all the places in Atlanta that you could possibly get away with not owning a car, downtown Decatur is one of them. And one of the reasons for that is you actually have a MARTA heavy rail stop right in the middle of downtown Decatur. So if you're walking distance from this stop and the train can take you to your work or wherever you need to go on a daily basis, you might actually not need to own a car here. So let's talk restaurants and bars because that's one of the biggest benefits of living in downtown Decatur. You really have an overwhelming amount of options and not just options, but actually really good options. In fact, downtown Decatur, the Decatur Square area is probably the biggest concentration of the highest quality restaurants in all of the city. Some of the places I I really suggest you have to visit if you're ever in town would be Brick Store Pub, which was actually rated as the second best beer bar in the entire country. This beer bar has absolutely every kind of beer you would ever hope to drink. Also behind me is Iberian Pig, which is one of my favorite spots for Spanish food and small plates or tapas. Also, some of the best seafood in Atlanta, in my opinion, can be found at Kimball House, which is right around the corner from where we are now. You've got sushi restaurants, Mexican Mexican restaurants, coffee shops, great bottle shops, really anything you'd be looking for in a city experience can be found in Decatur. But also a very family friendly atmosphere and that's probably one of the biggest pros of living in this area. You've got some of the local schools right in the downtown Decatur area. So you'll see kids walking to and from school in the area. You've got Agnes Scott which is an all women's college right in the area. So. Overall, you've got a very family-friendly vibe, a lot of young people and families out and about in the Decatur Square area, and absolutely some of the best schools in the state. In fact, if you're gonna live inside the perimeter and school quality is your number one priority, then one of the places you have to look will be Decatur. And not only do you have the traditional public school options, but you've also got some great private school and private preschool options available for you as well. And if we take a quick look at niche.com, you can see all of 
of the schools in the Decatur area are going to achieve an A grade. If you are concerned about the crime rate, you don't need to be especially concerned in the city of Decatur. It's very low crime compared to the rest of the city. Of course, you are still living in a city, so you have to have situational awareness and you may want and you may not want to leave very valuable things in your car, but overall in comparison to other parts of the city, Decatur is going to be a very safe neighborhood. So the overall vibe here is very vibrant, very arts friendly, and very family friendly. There are a lot of things to do and there are a lot of ways to engage with the community, including an incredible amount of festivals throughout the year. City of Decatur festivals are really popular in Atlanta and some of my personal favorites include the Decatur Book Festival, which happens every year on Labor Day weekend, and also the Decatur Arts Festival, which typically happens every year on Memorial Day weekend. In addition to the festivals, there are tons of events held here in the square, and it's a very vibrant, active place on the weekends, as you can imagine. So let's talk about housing, because if you're considering moving here, you probably want to know what it costs. The medium home price in city of Decatur is about $560,000. And a good bit of the housing is made up of townhomes, especially as you get close to Decatur Square. Obviously, because of the density, you're going to see more townhomes than you would single family detached homes. So I'd say one of the more common housing situations for someone looking to live in the city of Decatur would be a townhome in the mid five or $600,000 dollar range and that's going to get you a beautiful three or four level completely updated home with its own parking and plenty of space for you and your family. So why don't we go take a look at an example of a listing that's on the market in Decatur right now. All right, so I'm sure you're interested in what the housing situation in Decatur is like. And I thought it'd be cool to take you through an example of one of the more typical homes that someone living in this area is going to pursue. So we're gonna take a look at this listing that's on the market right now in the city of Decatur. This townhome has four beds, three baths, and is on the market for $525,000. Let's go take a look.
All right, so what do you guys think of this townhome? Overall, I'm pretty impressed. It's very spacious. It's got a ton of natural light pouring in at every level. You've got a private two car garage on the bottom level that leads into your office space. Beautiful open concept main living area with a very large deck space. And I also really like the Juliet balconies in both of the guest bedrooms, even though the view isn't that great. So a couple things to think about with townhomes. Obviously, you can see when we went on the balcony, you're not gonna have the same level of privacy as you would if you had a detached home, especially if it was on a large lot. The other thing to keep an eye on is the HOA fees, because they can sometimes be exorbitant. In this area, I've seen them range anywhere between $150 to $600 a month on top of your regular mortgage. So you definitely want to make sure you know what your monthly HOA fees and also what they cover. So I have to say for the price, the size of the unit and the quality of the finishes, I think this is a very good deal. No, we're not walking distance to Decatur Square, but it's extremely close and we're in a great area. Taxes for this unit, we're in the mid 4,000s and that's typically what you're going to see in this area in this price range. So what did you guys think of this unit? So one of the great things about living in Decatur is not only do you have all the fabulous things to do locally, but you're still only about six miles east of downtown Atlanta. So you can easily hop in downtown Summerhill or Inman Park, Midtown Buckhead, even the airport. It doesn't matter. You're not far from anything in this town. So it really can't be overstated how desirable a place the city of Decatur is to live. In fact, if you're looking for a family friendly neighborhood where the schools are excellent, but you want to be inside the perimeter, my number one recommendation for you would be to check out the city of Decatur. So that is the city of Decatur. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's one of my favorite places in all of Atlanta. Again, my name is Mark Brenner. I'm a realtor here in Atlanta. And if you're relocating here, you're looking to buy an apartment, home or townhome, I would love to connect with you. You can schedule a consultation with me in the calendar link in the description below. I would love to connect and see how I can help. So I hope you enjoyed that full vlog tour of the city of Decatur. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. And until my next video, I'll see you next time.